<laughs> so we have one of our setbacks we've been fighting for a couple of months with our beehives uh this was the original hive that we got from oklahoma and we made a split out of it and the split's doing great um for some reason we could not keep a queen in this i i we did the split we got a queen she was fine for a while i think it just got too full too fast i couldn't buy another box to put on it uh, i think we did it late uh she ended up swarming and then after that uh i couldn't get a queen in it i ended up buying another queen putting it in here everything looked good a couple weeks later she was gone and it was too late to get another one uh hoping they were going to make another one long story they didn't uh with that being said this was a deep hive body and a medium super before the swarm i had a deep hive with a good brood chamber in it full of honey medium super full of honey uh and half of a, another medium super full of honey so this thing was this thing was booming well when they split they took a bunch of honey with them uh probably a good 80 percent of the honey and then we just never grew back it was it was in the dearth uh middle of summer so there wasn't a lot of nectar out there for them uh, even with feeding, I mean, it was just, uh, it was a learning, learning experience for the first year. So with that being said, we lost this hive, got too cold. It was too small. It was too weak. No queen. I knew that was going to happen. But what I didn't do was, is I didn't dispatch the hive and get all of my frames on Paramoth or freeze my frames or whatever to stop them. What baby? Oh, we'll go in your room and look. We'll be in there in a bit. I've everywhere. Well, go keep searching, please. Um, but I didn't take... I basically... I didn't... Uh, I should have frozen these frames or done something with them to stop the small hive beetle and the, more importantly, the wax moth. The small hive beetle was kind of under control. It wasn't that big of a deal. I was basically waiting for this to die, and then I was going to pull it. I didn't want to euthanize them. I was going to try to give them as much of a shot as I could. But what you'll see in this is you can see some pretty bad damage down here. This is where, matter of fact, there is actually a wax moth larva right there turned upside down. He's still alive. We've been in freezing temperatures. You can see the dead bees here, some drones, a bunch of worker bees. But you can see where they, the wax moths have, matter of fact, there's a cocoon right in there just eaten and destroyed all of that so i'm going to have to hopefully cut out what i can and i'm going to try freezing these i mean you can see this is all capped honey right here this is all capped honey so i'm going to try to salvage what i can everything i've read says that i might be able to cut this stuff out and salvage what i can you can see the cocoon here or not the cocoon sorry they make these tunnels and they travel through the tunnels you can see all the fecal matter in there but the bees can't in a strong colony the bees can kind of take care of it they can pull the larva out but they can't really go through it matter of fact look there's one of them larva right there wax moth still alive Eesh. so yeah i'm gonna have to try to cut some of this out let me show you down here some more area where they've been so i'll have to cut all that out cut all that out most of this i'm probably just going to have to scrape it all the way down to the foundation all the way down to the foundation so let's see cap tunny all cap tunny i don't it looks like maybe one was kind of around in there so i'm gonna dig that out i'm gonna try to save all this i'll freeze this this side you can really see i mean the wax moth actually eats the wax um so i mean there there's my plastic foundation so that's fine you know but i'll, I'll have to cut all this scrape all this out maybe take a light torch to it try to melt some of this but you know there's just so much unfortunate like i said my mistake uh so nope gotta go inside babe you Go. don't have shoes on or a jacket. Yeah. Okay. I know you got your jacket, but yeah, I'm just 
an unfortunate loss we knew was going to happen you can see more travel patterns here so unfortunately oh wow they really got oh, into yeah. it. this is actually a cocoon right there you can see that that is one of the cocoons so just like a butterfly it'll be a caterpillar and then once it gets old enough it'll make a cocoon i'll burn that but see look there's another one right there chugging away on the on the wax so i'll probably scrape all of this off try to save it there's an ant a little honey ant so unfortunately look at that that's oh, got wow. a few so you can see where they've traveled there's a cocoon there's a cocoon there 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 so this one's really bad so yeah you can see all of them traveling yeah, really it's just that one they well it was a weak hive yeah. and that so they didn't they had nothing stopping them nothing stopping them and this this is a minor infestation this is this is nothing too serious believe it or not uh, it looks bad, but th th go look it up on the internet. There's much worse. So, and that's just the, this is the only good frame that I found with nothing, <laughs> nothing on it. You know, capped honey. Uh, I'll stick this in the freezer and try to save it. I'll clean it up. And that's really all I can do with that. But one out of 18. I run, I run nine frame boxes. I run nine frame boxes. And uh, you can tell it's old comb because it's it's so dark. Yeah. Damage here. These are this is actually unhatched brood that would have hatched out, but it just got too cold, probably killed them. We had that freeze. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is one of the original frames. You can tell this is the one from Oklahoma because oh, yeah. it's the black plastic. So I'll scrape all this off and start over. But we still have two strong hives, so I gotta go pull the the mite treatment strips out of them today. It's been about uh, 48, 50 days. So, which is okay, cause I need to put spacers in this one anyways. I gotta put spacers in it. Um, Watch out for all those bees. Well, there's a bunch of dead ones. They're most, also all those ones that you saw like here. This is prime example these guys are all dead no i know i didn't want you to put your hand in them oh yeah yeah those guys are all dead all froze all froze unfortunately i mean you can even see i don't know if you can see in the video but you see the reflection in those holes mm -hmm. that's uncapped nectar that's in there so yeah quite a bit of that i mean that's three quarters of a frame of uncapped nectar so you were awake. <laughs> so, I gotta get down to the nitty gritty. Yep. So, yep, just wanted to kind of show you one of our latest trials and tribulations. I know we haven't been very active, so it's been it's been a busy, busy summer. <laughs> busy summer, busy fall, busy spring. So it's, it's all been busy. You died, you wax moss. Uh, so yeah. Still though, it's not too bad. Life's still a breeze here on the Windy Roost. <laughs> it's just a little bit more windy than normal. So, all right, thanks guys. I'm gonna get.